Hey everyone, it's Coach Louise and my cat, Callie. You will see her in almost every video that I do because she just likes to be right here <laughs> in front of my computer. Okay, so uh, welcome everybody. I know if you're not on the call and I don't think anybody's gonna be on this call, so I wanted to record it so everybody can benefit, benefit from all the information to get us started and set up right. Um, I know time is very valuable. That's why I love the 30 minute workouts. I love, um, so we, we want to prep our food and get that all ready so that we can save time through the week. So I'll talk about that a little bit more. But really, you know, we are all so busy, busy women. And so this is a perfect program, 21 Day Fix, to um, help us get our workouts in, figure out our meal plans, um, prep those so that we can pack them and have them ready to go uh, when we um, head out the door on Monday morning. <clears throat> so. Um, I'm going to post out on the prep week, like introduce yourself and, um, or I might wait until I uh, do the actual page, which I'm going to set up this weekend. And it's not going to be a Facebook page. It's, there's a new free app that Beachbody has out. It's called My Challenge Tracker. So um, I will, what you do is you get an email that's inviting you to join that group in the My Challenge Tracker app. So when you click on it, it'll, it'll walk you through setting that app up. Again, it's free. So then you would just do everything on your phone as far as checking in and logging your workout, logging your Shakeology. Um, you can post pictures. It's really, really cool. And that way you don't have to get into Facebook and do all that check-in. It makes it super easy. So if all you do is log in uh, your workout in your, and it's just like a, you just, it has two circles and you log your workout in, you can type something, you can add a photo, log your Shakeology in, you can, and then you can go into the group feed, which is a lot like the Facebook pages that we usually do. Um, it looks a lot like that. So you can add photos, add motivational, you know, pictures that you like. Um, you can comment on people's posts. So it's a lot similar to a Facebook page, but again, it's just gonna be straight out on your, Somebody's checking in here. Hi, is, who's on the call? Tracy. Oh, hi, Tracy. Hi. Um, hi. So you must be on your phone. I'm on my iPad. Oh, okay. Can you see me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I can't, I can't see you. You're a, a little icon. <laughs> um, but that's okay. Um, when I share my screen, let me know if you can see that. So what I was just saying, because I didn't think anybody was actually going to get on the call, was I just had started out with like introducing um, that the, I'm going to actually not be setting up a Facebook page. It's a new app called the My Challenge Tracker app that Beachbody has put out. <clears throat> so I will be sending out emails tomorrow, email invites to that, and it'll walk you through setting it up. And what's really cool about it is you just, it, it looks like an icon on your phone. And you click on it, and you can log in your workout real quick. You can log in that you drink your Shakeology. You can type, you know, extra information in there. Um, it, and it says, you know, add a description of what your workout or your Shakeology was. You can post pictures. It's a lot like a Facebook page because you can post in there and you can comment on, on other people's feeds. So, um, but it's really cool because it makes it simple and easy just to go right into there and check in and log in your information. Um, so I will be sending those out tomorrow too. So watch for your email for that. It's my challenge tracker app. Um, and my cat's always in my videos. <laughs> um, okay. And then, so, um, on our prep week page in Facebook, I will be posting out some more information through Sunday, just about trying to identify what people's goals are, um, and getting, you know, to the nitty gritty of that, to figure out what our 21 day goals are and what our long term goals are. Um, then I will also show you. Let's see. Did you get your <clears throat> your pack yet, Tracy? I did. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So I'm sharing my screen now. Can you see this? Yes. Okay. Cool. So when you go when you log into your Team Beach Body account. This is the page you're going to get. And so there is a lot of great information here. Um, there is different fitness tools, like you can do your um, body fat percentage based on your weight and your uh, the, the inches in your waist. 
Um, there's just a lot of other fitness tips and, and you know, workout sheets if you want to keep track of stuff. There's a lot of nutritional, I mean, uh, recipes in here, including Shakeology recipes. Um, and then just all kinds of stuff like these uh, tacos that they're doing for Cinco de Mayo. So all kinds of great information. Then you can also go in and look at some success stories. There's a message board where you can chat with people if you want. All kinds of videos. Um, Beach Body Challenge. Since you bought a challenge pack, you want to go in and say, take the challenge. And I don't know if you set this up when you actually buy your challenge pack because you could have done it then. But take the challenge just means you want to put in that you, what you, the challenge pack that you bought. You can put it in any photo. They just want a photo as your before photo. Um, and then when you complete the 21-day fix, then you go in and put your after photo. You can be entered to win. They give away like $500 daily. There's $1,000 monthly, $2,500 quarterly, I believe it is. And um, up to like 100000 at the end of the year. And so it's always good to be entered into that. And then you'll also get a free T-shirt at the end of our 21 days. So, um, so go in and check out all this information in here. It's just all at your fingertips. And then Beachbody On Demand. So when you buy your challenge pack, you got a 30-day free trial of Beachbody On Demand. Um, and so you click on that and you'll come to this screen that it has you sign in again because you can go straight to this URL and not go through the Team Beachbody um, account page and just sign in directly, which is handy if you're getting, you know, accessing it on your iPad or on your phone um, because you can do workout streaming straight from Beachbody On Demand. So when you sign into it, because I want to show you where your 21 day fix information is in case you need to access it. Here we go. So when you sign in, um, they have under programs, so under your member library is where you're gonna have your purchase programs. So this 21 day fix will show up there. Just running a minute behind here. Okay, there we go. So, um, like for me, because I bought these all these other programs, those show up in my purchase programs. But if the if Twenty One Day Fix is your first program, Beachbody program, then that's the only one that's going to show up here. But there are um, by trainer, by type that you can go in and look at other workouts. I'll just do that real quick by trainer, which is how I like to go because I have my favorite trainers, right? Um, I like Tony Horton. I like. Um, Autumn, I like Sagi. He does a lot of weightlifting. But you can go in here, and then here's another one that we've been doing lately is Brazil butt lift because he doesn't want to – they've got to work out high and tight, right? <laughs> Who doesn't want a <laughs> firm booty? So then you can go in, and these are just all, you know, free workouts for you. Um, so there's like 500 different workouts that you can do on here that are all part of the beach body on demand. So then you just click in here. But we'll, let's go into um, the 21 day fix. I'm just showing you that there are tons of workouts to try out in here. So I like it, especially when, um, you know, as, especially after your 21 day fix, if you want to add something more in there or something different, you know, I would encourage you to go and look out at some of the other programs and see, because you might just want to add in like the 15 minute abs from Brazil butt lift. It's a really, it's a really good one. So you're going to click on 21 Day Fix. This is going to come up like this. It's going to have all the workouts here. Um, and then, which is a set schedule. So we do, this is Monday's Total Body Cardio Fix, Tuesday Upper Fix, Thursday Lower, or Wednesday Lower Fix. Today was Pilates Fix. Cardio Fix is Friday. So there's two cardio fixes, but one's a total body. That's always Monday. Dirty 30 is Saturday, yoga fix on Sunday. So you have seven different workouts, one for each day. And then we add in the 10-minute fix for abs just on certain days, like good days are on lower fix, cardio fix. Um, and I like to do it before my yoga and then get it in like three times a week. Um, but you'll also look over here, there's trainer Q&A and there's different videos that Autumn Calabrese, the creator of 20 Day, Day Fix answers a lot of different questions in there. Um, this is new with a playlist of your own music. Um, 21 Day Food List. So you can click out on here and you can see, and then you can download this and, um, you know, 
print it out, take it with you to the, you have it in your eating plan booklet, but you can take it with you when you're grocery shopping um, or helping to develop your grocery list. So um, the exclusive toolkit, my things are gonna open up quickly. There's a 21 day fix. There's another free app that you'll want to use too. It's a 21 day tracker app and that'll help you track your, um, the containers that you're using through the day. So it sets you up um, weeks, weeks one, two, and three. And then um, like on day one, you put in, like breakfast is you have, you know, you click on the different color containers and it helps you keep track of that. Especially if you hadn't planned your day out very well, then you want to keep track of the containers that you're using as you go. So you know when you're getting close to the end of the day what you have left so you don't go over. Um, so here's a, and you have this in your eating plan guide and some of the different booklets or pamphlets that you got with your um, pack. But here's, this is all available out there on Beachbody On Demand too. So it's got, you know, and I just posted this on our page, this grocery list. This is, this is a planner to help you keep track of your containers too. If you want to print it out and you want to carry it around with you paper form, because some people like paper. Um, this is one that's going to be important for us to do. And again, that's in your eating plan guide as well to figure out what your calorie target is so that what plan you're going to be on. Uh, most people who are trying to lose weight will be on plan A. So that gives you three veggies, two fruits, four proteins, or three green, because you'll start talking in colors, three green, two purple, four red, two yellow, one blue, one orange, and two spoons. So then you want to go to the food list that we had before and figure out what kinds of veggies you like, what kinds of fruits you like, the proteins that you'll prep ahead of time, maybe on Sunday, um, what your favorite carbs are like quinoa or brown rice or sweet potato, the healthy fats are like avocado, um, almonds, salad dress and dressings, seeds and dressings here if you like sunflower seeds or something on your, on your salad, and then your dressings, and then oils and um, See, so if you cook with coconut oil or olive oil, you want to count that as a spoon. If you like almond butter like me, um, I have that every day, and that ends up being my two spoons. So so, so you have the, those out here on Beachbody On Demand. Lots of um, FAQ, frequently asked questions. Um, you can go in there and look around. This is the Start Here guide, which we'll look at here in just a second. And then you got the workout calendar. And again, this is in your book as well, but it just breaks it down the days that we're going to be doing the workouts. Um, I try. I post usually about by 8.30 the night before what tomorrow's workout is going to be so that you have it ahead of time. Um, but then, you know, after a while, you'll get to figure out what Wednesday is lower fixed day, Thursday's Pilates day. Um, on the eating, oh, I shouldn't have clicked that one. That's, that, that's the whole booklet. That is this entire booklet out there. So... Um, I know someone is still waiting for their pack, so this would be a go, good place to look at this and look through it and just get familiarized with it. If you're vegan, they have the vegan eating plan. These are those tally sheets where you can keep track of your container count through the day if you want the paper and pen method, or I would encourage you to, to get the 21-day tracker app. If you go into the app store and just put in 21-day tracker, you can, it'll come right up, and it'll have Beachbody LLC underneath it. So, um, okay, so that is your Beachbody On Demand and how to get into all that. I would encourage you again to look around at some of the different workouts. If you want to uh, try some of that out, do that for sure. Um, the eating plan, so on, in your booklet, you do want to go and, and figure out where your calorie intake is. Um, it's your current weight. Then you add 400, 400 calories. That's your base calorie need for the day. But since you're exercising, then you're going to subtract 750 because we want to be eating at a calorie deficit if you're trying to lose weight. 
Um, so that will give you your target range. And again, most people fall into that 1,200 to 1,500 range, the plan A, I believe it's called. Yeah, plan A. Um, and because we are eating at a deficit and working out, just, um, just in a general sense, even if you ate all whole foods, most people are not, like 95% of the population is, is nutrient de deficient. Even if they're clean eating on a whole food diet, you just don't get everything that your body needs. So now, given that, even if you're eating without a deficit of, um, to lose weight, you're nutrient deficient. So now we're gonna go into a deficit, so we're cutting back on your nutrients. So it's very important to drink your Shakeology because that has your, your day's nutrition in it, um, as well as your vitamin, vitamins and your minerals, plus a lot of superfoods that is what your body is really craving. So it's gonna give you your nutrition. So, um, if, and so we'll talk about the, how to mix it up here in a second. But so it's important to make sure you're having that every day. That Shakeology, there's, if you have the bag, there's a scoop, one scoop is one red. If you have the packet, one packet is one red. That is one of your calorie, your, your proteins for the day. But mind you, it's not a protein shake. There's protein in it, but it is a complete meal replacement. The way I like to work out the meal plans is um, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then a snack, morning snack, and an afternoon snack. Or say you don't typically have an afternoon snack, you can save that and have something after dinner. But again, within that calorie um, level, and your container counts. You want to be tracking that. I posted out there a weekly meal plan blank template as well as a sample of like one of the weeks that I put together. Um, for the most part, my breakfast and my snacks are pretty much the same. I just kind of mix up a couple different choices throughout the week. My lunch is usually a leftover from dinner or a salad with some leftover meat. And then in the um, dinners, then I try to like, add some variety in there and try some different things. I will post out some recipes like in the 21 day fix when they came out with this, they didn't post a lot of really, you know, great recipes, but there are some great ones in the 21 day fix extreme and the new fix eight cookbook. So I will post some of those out with the container account so you can work those in. So I would encourage you to at least take, um, find out what your calorie container count is. Um, and then take that template and at least figure out four days at least of the meals that you're going to have and then um, build your grocery list from that. So Sunday or Saturday you can go shopping, Sunday you can go shopping, you can do some prep so that you're ready for Monday. Especially if you work away from home, you want to have your foods ready to take with you so that you're not reaching for um, foods that are not as nutritious, that are high calorie, you know, low nutrition. So when you figure out, so in the eating plan booklet, here it is, you'll, so you've got three veggies, two purples, four red, two yellow, one blue. So then you go to your food list and you just figure out, again, what your container, uh, what, um, like for green, what veggies you like. And just to know that the things at the top of the list are the most nutrient dense. So there are things um, like, Celery, you know, has lower nutritional value, so it's not going to keep you as satisfied longer. So the things at the top of the list are going to keep you help to keep you uh, fuller, satisfied, your body satisfied longer than some of the things at the bottom of the list. Um, there's, you know, for the yellows, you can have waffles, you can have chips, you can have bagels, um, but again, those are at the lower end of the list. So I always encourage people people to pick from like the top 10 of the list. Um, I did post out a video, um, Autumn, just kind of explaining to the eating plan. The eating plan kind of feels awkward in the first week to kind of get it rolling, but because you know you're doing something different, but once you get started with it, and feel free to message me, text me, call me, any questions that you have because I want you to get comfortable with it because it'll take a couple of days, but you will, you know, kind of get into the groove. Um, so I posted a video out there too with Autumn kind of explaining it too because I just really want you to be comfortable with the eating plan. The nutrition is really 
the key here. <clears throat> you know, we, we all, even if you're walking, you know, um, I want you to definitely push play and get the workouts in because the workouts are built to maximize your <clears throat> result. They work different muscle groups. Um, it's interval-based training. You know, it's really effective for the amount of time that you're working out. And the way it's sequenced out with different days doing different things, you're going to get, you're going to see big changes in your body. So there's that. Or you could, if you weren't doing the workouts um, and you were, say, just walking um, and you followed the eating plan, you're going to still get results. So, again, the, the, the nutritional part is just, it's huge. So I want to make sure you're comfortable with that. And any questions you have, again, let me know. So we talked about calculating, so tracking your portions. Again, look at the 21 Day Fix Tracker app. Go out and download that. If you have any questions on that, we can um, go over that. Um, I'd be happy to one-on-one -on -one call with you two on the phone. If you have any questions, um, definitely let me know. So tips on making your Shakeology. I always blend mine. I like it to be a treat. Um, I like to have uh, either water, half water, half unsweetened almond milk, um, ice. If I have factored in with my purples, the fruits, I will throw some fruit in there. Um, you can use extracts. So there's all kinds of um, like caramel extract, banana extract. There's va uh, vanilla, rum. There's all coconut. So those are all great things to add in, and the extracts are free, so you can spice it up. You should have gotten a recipe sheet with your um, Shakeology to kind of give you some ideas, too, on some recipes that you can make. If you have any questions on that, let me know. But um, the workout schedule, we talked about that. Equipment needed for your workout. So you can use a band, which is a little more cumbersome. Um, you. The weights or the workouts do have um, a light set of weight and a, a heavy set of weights, so hand weights, dumbbells. So the light set, depending on your what you've been doing previously and your strength level, three to five pounds. If you're got stronger, you know you've been working out doing some other things, five to eight pounds. Um, so then the heavy set would be if you're doing three to five for your light, do five to eight for your heavy. If you're doing five to eight for your heavy, I would go eight to 10 for your, I mean, if you're doing five to eight for your light, do eight to 10 for your heavy. And um, just the, especially in the first week, just she's, Autumn is really good about cueing form. So I want you to focus more on form than on the weights. If you have to drop the weights and just do the exercises without them, do that because it's better for you to get the form down and get the feeling and kind of get your muscles moving again than to try and add the weights in and not get as an effective workout um, because you're not able to do as many reps or, or to injure yourself. So we don't want that. So the other thing, very important, is doing, and I'll post out there too to remind you that we want to do before photos and measurements. So there's this thing that came in your uh, pack, and it just tells you, you know, a front, a side, a back. These photos are for your use only, so they're really good to compare because you are going to be losing weight but building muscle. The scale is not the best um, source to tell you exactly what you've been doing. It is a number. Um, you're going to see a difference, but the best thing is photos and measurements. So you have this sheet, too, on the Start Here guide that tells you what measurements to take. So you want to do your before measurements because you're going to see probably more in your inches lost. That's where it's you know, more of a true calculation of what you're doing because you're changing your body composition. So you're losing fat, adding muscle. So um, I don't want people to just specifically rely on the scale. A lot of people don't like to do the before photos or the measurements um, because, you know, what it, for whatever reason, um, but I'm telling you that everyone who has not done that has wished they would. So just do it, write them down, tuck them away, take your photo, 
you know, all the way somewhere. And then when it comes to the 21 at the end of the round, when we do the after photo and the after measurements, um, then you can have that comparison because you really will want that. So um, expectations for participation in the group um, show up every day in post in there and stay accountable to the group that you've got your workout in that you've drank your Shakeology. Let us know if you have any struggles. Let us know any questions. Um, and I say us because there's going to be other women in the group. There's going to be some women that I'm going to add in that are finishing up around. So we've got women with experience in here that have done around two or three. Um, and they're, they're great for support and will help you um, answer, help me to help you answering questions on what worked for them. Um, so it's really, it's really a great environment. So again, participation every day. Show up, log your workout in, log your Shakeology in. I like people to, you know, post motivational quotes. Um, again, ask any questions, share what's worked for you, share what's not working for you. Um, because if you are going through it, chances are somebody else is too. And so it's really good for them to hear, you know, what's going on and a solution for that. So show up every day. The more you're accountable to yourself and to the group, um, the better results you're going to have. It's kind of, it's been proven and that's my experience. That's what I see with the, with the women that really, you know, come in and stay accountable. You have goals now and I'm going to remind you of them. And that's why I'm going to ask about them out on our prep week page because I want to remind you, we have goals. Sometimes when we get into the week two, week three, the enthusiasm can, lesson so I want to remind you the goals haven't changed <laughs> sometimes the excitement of starting a thing gets us all gung-ho but we've got to go for the long haul and this is only three weeks so you're going to get great results if you come and show up and participate um, so I mentioned other women are coming into the group from previous rounds so I just continue to run groups and you've already you know since you've got your challenge pack you would just go into the next one because most people are not going to get to their goal in three weeks. We do three weeks because it helps you change habits. It helps you kickstart your way to your goal. But, you know, obviously after three weeks, um, it's not just see ya. You know, we continue on to your goal. And even I have a Living Fit Club page, which is an accountability, like a general maintenance accountability group to help you continue on even when you've gotten to your goal. So just know that um, this isn't an all or nothing. We show up every day, we do our best, and we keep working towards our goal. So, um, Did you have any questions, Tracy? No, I think I'm going to end up, you know, just having to look at everything. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, definitely. So as you look through anything, you know, just go ahead and shoot it out there on the Prep Week page or, you know, when we get started even. And... Um, because there's a, there's a lot of great resources to help out. Okay. Yeah. Great. I was yeah. able to find the app. So that's oh, good. 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 Okay. And then the invitation I'll email, I, it comes to you via email for the actual My Challenge Tracker. I think you can find it out there, but it'll if you try to log in or something, it says you need an invitation. So, okay. yeah. So um, I'll get those sent out tomorrow. So oh, that okay. people can get into it because you can set up your profile. You can enter in your before pictures and you can set privacy settings in there too. So it's just you seeing the information or you and me as your coach can see it, you know, so um, you get to set the privacy settings and then you, so you can enter in your measurements. You could enter your photo there if you wanted to, if you want to keep everything all in one place. Um, and then as you're tracking it, you know, it shows you how you're doing and um, so it's really good for that so that you can track stuff the unfortunately they didn't add in like the container count portion to it because then it would be like a one-stop app but maybe they'll do that when they if they revise it so um, yeah so I think that's it I'm gonna go ahead and I, I'm yeah, I was recording this, so I'm going to post it out on the page so um, the other ladies who couldn't get on tonight can get the information too. But again, any questions, just let me know. Um, text me or uh, I'll, when I post this, I'll put my phone number out there too, 242-2666, so that you can call me if you want to and, um, or, or you know, message me on Facebook. 
So I'm excited. We're going to get this going. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it'll yeah. be fun. Yes. Okay. Well, thanks for jumping on, Tracy. Okay. Thank we'll you. Talk soon. All right. Okay. Good night.